Do my dogs deserve these? I got woken up by none other than a Franco kiss. Every day starts with a pee and a look at the sky, and it looks bright blue today, which means two things. One, bright, and two, cold AF. Dogs are in their beds, which means it's breakfast time. Angelica's off to the dentist, so that means that we have a lazy morning, and I can get some work done and pack up to go to the gym. But before you know it, Angelica's back. A lot of people think Aussies need to be moving 24 seven, but you can train them to have their days off too. Hey, sleepo. Who wants to go to the park? -o? Let's get these two going. I can hear the comments already. Don't go to dog parks. And hey, I hear you, but our dog parks in Ottawa are a little more interactive for the humans. They are large, and wooded so you're able to do a little hike. We usually do two to 5k every single day and I find it's better than a fenced in dog park where everyone is just standing still waiting around for something to go wrong. Things can obviously still go wrong here but constantly moving definitely helps. Now the dogs did well today and we've been out of their favorite thing so it's time to make a pit stop and get some bones. So what do you think? 